Are you looking for PIP 3.1 analysis method? Based on Section 6, H, of the Toxic Substances Control Act TOSCA, the United States Environmental Protection Agency, US EPA, has started regulating phenol, isopropylated phosphate 3.1, PIP 3.1 as a chemical substance that has persistent, bioaccumulative, and toxic chemicals. But now, EPA has proposed a rule to extend the compliance date until October 31, 2024. The Pyrolyzer Thermal Desorption GCMS, PYTD GCMS, is specified in the International Standard IEC 623218 as a phthalates screening system. This system does not require solvent extraction. So, it is currently attracting interest as an environmentally and analytical operator-friendly system. We introduce an example of verifying that PYTD GCMS can be applied to analyze PIP 3.1 in plastic. Cut the plastic sample, and put it in sample cup, around half a milligram. Place the sample cups on the cup tray. The sample tray is placed on automatic sampler. Set the sample cup receiver, and start analysis. This is the result of plastic sample included PIP 3.1. On SIM chromatogram, three isopropylated isomers, multiple peaks, are shown. The workstation for GCMS can reference the standard chromatogram and display it under the plastic sample. You can see whether the PIP 3.1 is included or not, at a glance. Moreover, simultaneous scan SIM measurement enables qualitative analysis of unknown compounds other than PIP 3.1. For example, in this result, various additives other than PIP 3.1 are founded. Through qualitative analysis in our company's mass spectrum library for additives, it was found to be trisphosphate, 1, 3 dichloro 2 propyl a type of phosphorus flame retardant. In this way, simultaneous scan SIM measurement enables qualitative analysis of additives other than PIP. PYTD GCMS enables PIP 3.1 analysis with simple operation. See the application news for details. You can download it from the link in the summary column.